Welcome primary two with you is Miss Noura Abdurrahman and today we are going to talk about lesson number one, matter. So are you ready to start? Let's go! At first, what is the meaning of matter? Matter is everything around us. The pencil is matter. The pottery is matter. The glue is matter. And the glass is matter. The book is matter. The bag is matter. Table is matter. Everything around you is a matter. And you are a matter. So everything around us is a matter. Everything around us is a matter. And the matter are three states or three types. The matters are three states or three types. Number one, solid. Solid. And solid means hard or strong. Any matter is a hard or strong called solid, like the rock. The rock is solid. The rock is solid. It is strong and hard. Number two, liquid. Liquid, liquid like the water, the water, juice, milk, all of that's called liquid, called liquid. Number three, gas, gas, which gas do we breathe? Oxygen, super, and the water vapor also is a gas. So we have a three states of matter, we have three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas solid liquid and gas again solid liquid and gas so again what is the state of matter solid liquid and gas solid liquid and gas let's start with solid we said that solid means strong or hard like what the book is solid the pencil is solid the table is solid so Anything is hard or strong as a solid. Excellent. Can you hold the solid? Yes. Can you hold the book? Yes. Can you hold the pencil? Yes. Can you hold the ice? Yes. So we can hold the solids. Okay. Can we walk through the solids or inside the solids? Can you walk through the wall? No, we can't walk through the wall. Can you put your hand inside or through the book? No, we can't do that. Why? Because the solids are consist of parts inside the, the solid, there is a very small parts. And these parts are stick together. Stick together. What is the meaning of stick together? They are hugging each other. They are hugging each other. So, we can't throw or we can't walk through the solid because the parts of the solid are stick together. The parts of the solid are stick together. We can't put your hand or you can't walk through it because the parts of the solid are stick together. The parts of the solid are stick together. So, again, can you hold the solids? Yes. Can you walk through them? No. Why? Because the parts of the solids are stuck together. Excellent. Now let's go to the liquid. Liquids like what? Water is a liquid. The juice is the liquid. And milk is a liquid. Liquids like water, juice and milk. Can you feel the liquid in your hand? Yes, I can feel the water in my hand. Okay, can you walk through the water? Yes, we can walk through the water. Can you swim? Yes, I can swim. So you can walk through the water. Why? Why you can't walk through the solid but you can walk through the water or through the liquid? Because the liquid are made of a tiny part of a small parts and these parts are close to each other but they are don't stick together they are don't stick together the solid the parts of the solid was sticking together 
but the part of the liquids doesn't or don't stick together. So again, why we can walk or swim through the water or through the liquid? Because the parts of the liquid are don't stick together. The parts of the liquid are close but don't stick together. The parts of the liquid are close but don't stick together. So again, can you feel the liquid? Yes, I can feel it. Can you walk through it? Yes, I can walk through it because the parts of the liquid are close but don't stick together. Excellent. What about the gas? The gas like the oxygen which we breathe, the oxygen in the air which we breathe every day is a gas. Also, when you are boiling a water, you can see the water vapor. The gas which getting out when we are boiling the water is a a water vapor, water vapor, water vapor. Again, water vapor. So, the water vapor and oxygen are gases. Now, let's look to the gas. The air we breathe is a gas. So, we can breathe the gas, but we can't touch it. Can you hold the air? No, we can't hold the air or the gas. So, we can't touch it. But Okay, can you walk through it? Yes, every day we are walking through the gas or through the air. Why? Why I can walk through it? Because the parts of the gas are spread far apart from each other. What is the meaning of spread? Spread means they are move away from each other. They are move away from each other. Look at the picture. They are spread far apart. Repeat after me. Spread far apart. Spread far apart. So, so the gas parts are spread far apart. Spread far apart from each other. So again, can you touch the gas? No. Can you walk through it? Yes. Why? Because the parts of the gas are spread far apart from each other. Excellent. So, the, so the parts of the solid are stick together. The parts of the solid are stick together. The they are close but don't stick together. The parts of the gas are spread far apart from each other. Spread far apart from each other. Excellent. Do you know that the matter can change from one state to another? Yes. Let's see. Do you know that liquid can turn or change and be solid? Yes. Liquid like water, if you put it in the freezer, if you put the water in the freezer, it will freeze. It will freeze and when the water freezing it turn into ice turn into ice so the liquid can be solid by freezing the liquid can turn into solid by freezing excellent number two the solid can turn into a liquid the solid like the ice can turn into a liquid like water. How? When you put the ice cubes on the stove, do you know the stove which your mom used in cooking? If you put the ice, it will melt and turn into water, and water is a liquid. So we can uh, change the solid into liquid by melting, by melting. Excellent. Number three, the liquid can turn into gas. The liquid like water can turn into gas by boiling. When we are boiling the water, it turn into a water vapor. It turn into a water vapor by evaporation or evaporates. So when we put the water boiling, it is evaporates. It is evaporates and evaporates means turn into water vapor turn into water vapor and this is the water vapor so the liquid turn into 
gas by evaporation. With you was Ms. Noura Abdurrahman and thank you for listening.